everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Teleglitch Die More Edition. Alrighty, what floor are we on? I wish the game would. Uh, I, 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 the game. I know I've pulled up the floor count before, but I never remember how to do it, and I, uh, I always make. It always makes me so sad because I, I don't know if I can do it or if it is just something that pops up when you warp into a new area or load the game or something like that. Well, we've got like hell set out on uh. Hell itself coming out to get us right off the bat, but I guess um, you know, that's the game's little way of being like Hey, we're giving you this nice little secret right here right off the bat Might as well make it a little bit difficult for you as well So we're not giving you everything uh, as easy as pie. I believe we have to be on floor three now that I think about it Um, because nice heavy rifle haven't utilized that too much in uh, my play so far, so that might be something that I should consider using uh, in the future. I believe whenever we have fought those war walkers, I've either pulled out like a shotgun or a machine gun or some kind of uh, explosive. But um, basically, I, I, I think it would be a ca case scenario where I'd prefer it if I started to swap to using the heavy rifle. Because at least as of the last run that I did in this game... The big problem that I felt that I had was we were starting to run seriously low on ammunition in our weapons that, uh, use, like, um... That, that fire rapidly, I should say. Like, machine guns and stuff like that. Revolver ammo is nice. And more pistol ammo is always nice. We're gonna do, uh, the best we can to actually use, uh, the pistol. I mean, the, the, the nail gun, not the pistol. Use the nail gun more than the pistol for as long as we can. Um, because I would really, really love to get to the point where we can get an SMG drop before too long. One thing that I actually did not know until fair, fair, uh, fairly recently was... When I picked up um, that SMG that uh, an enemy dropped uh, at one point in the game, we, we in in a previous run, nice another secret already. That's pretty cool. Um, but when when I picked up one of those SMGs, uh, wall be destroyed. I command you. Oh, is, that's not a destructible wall, is it? Oh, uh, that's a little bit crummy if I wasted a lot of ammo right there, which I almost certainly did, but whatever. We got ourselves a meat trap. Meat traps are da bomb. Da bomb, da bomb, da bam, da bam. I think that means we will have actually had three of them in this run so far if I didn't uh, mess up earlier with tossing that one. Oh, shoot. Hello, you jerkwad. Jumping right in my face right after the door. Being a little bit too uh, uh, fast-paced so far, that's what I'll say for sure. Um, but as ah, so, no, they're pushing the big pipe thing. I want wait. Oh, oh, oh! Yes, yes! I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. That that was. We got like absolutely no benefit for this room except for the glory of beating up those two guys with them stuck behind a pipe. Like I, I and that's that's really all that I need. But anyways, going back to what I was talking um, about before, something that I actually did not know but probably should have expected. Uh, no, heavy rifle on that guy is a really, really foolish choice. Let's use, uh, the, the revolver and see if that'll actually take these guys down in one hit. Because I would love to, uh, be able to finish these big jerkwads really, really quick, or at least faster than we have before. Um, to kind of go ahead and save shots, apparently it looks like it's gonna take a couple of them, which is... Uh, really, really annoying in my opinion. Three revolver shots just for one of those big guys. I would rather use the lava nail gun ammo, which is in its own way extra annoying because I really want to save that stuff um, for the later game, uh, for the later levels and stuff like that. But anyways, we got our detector. The question is, do we make the nail gun two now or the detector? Uh, we do make nail gun ammo for sure. But the big thing here is that the detector is so good, especially for um working towards the uh, EM detector or the upgraded detector, as I've mentioned many a time before. Let's get the detector. We could deal with nail gun one for now. Um, only difference is that it fires more bullets, really, which does, of course, help for um effectiveness and firepower and all of that. But this way, oh no, why'd I go back here? Oh, I cornered myself. We okay, good. I was about to say we should be able to deal with that thing before it damages us. Uh, damages us, though. But that was a very, very foolish move on my part. But um, the detector is gonna be a nice upgrade because that'll uh, get us one step of the way towards the EM detector, and then um, beyond that, 
it, it, it also means that we will, um, god damn it, I hate these guys so much. We do have another secret on this floor. Th this, this game so far has just been packed with them all over the place. This might be one. Oh, shoot, yeah. Okay, this is one that connects to War Walkers. Let's go ahead and take these guys down. I don't think they should be much of a problem. We were able to make a second plate. Oh, we can already make... No! D d what? We just made a another plate. What What does the plate... Oh, no, the nail gun 2 is still there. For some reason, I thought the, the stuff we needed to make the nail gun 2 was gone for some weird reason. Even though there would be absolutely no reason for that. Whatever, um, before I go in and, uh, destroy these evil, uh, jerkwad warwalkers, I'm gonna quickly say what I meant to say, uh, like 20 times before. Um, I th I didn't know that the SMG is actually an upgrade to the auto pistol, or the auto, uh, 9MMP whatever. Uh, so that's gonna be very, very interesting. That means we're, we're definitely going to want, we would want to conserve our ammo to, for the SMG, or pistol ammo for the SMG in general already, but this just gives us even more reason to want to kind of save up for that. So, Warwalkers are gonna show up at any point, I'm sure of it. I think they only show up, though, once you actually, like, activate or walk towards the room that locks you in. Yeah, this door down here. They should show up as of now. Let's stay in cover, but try to keep a good eye on where these guys are chilling. We'll drop a meat trap as fast as we can, then swap to the revolver. Where are these things? Where are they? <laughs> these jerks! Where are you? I, I imagine they should be coming out now. Maybe they'll come out now? Oh, this is making it really scary. I want to utilize cover, but I can't when... Okay, here they come. I can't utilize cover if they don't come to me, so let's... Oh, there they are! Okay, meat trap down. Uh, pull out our revolver, and then let's take down the rest of these things. Oh, I hear them shooting. Hello, jerks. Where you at? I don't want to, like, come out of cover. Oh, okay, they're still alive. Run under cover, and then let's get ready to fight. Wow, that's a lot of them still alive. Okay, shotgun time. I did not imagine that they would do that well. Oh, God. No! They were able to survive a meat trap and, like, a bunch of revolver shots. Clearly, uh, despite me killing Warwalkers before, clearly I apparently am in no way prepared for those things. I... Those guys are freaking crazy! How much does it take to take one of those things out? That That is absurd, I, I feel. Um, <clears throat> sorry for that weird, weird noise my my humanoid body made at that point. Ooh, Tinker, at least we got an achievement for that. Um, alright, let's go ahead and start over once again. This time, uh, we should be able to utilize uh, all the equipment that we could get to. Great avail, seeing as we're not going to go around and toss some meat traps willy-nilly like we did previously. From now on, okay, if I'm fighting Warwalkers, I gotta use all the big guns, apparently, which really kind of makes me, up, um, really sad, because I, I thought that they didn't quite take as much as I thought they did, but apparently... I was either wrong, or I just handled that uh, that fight really, really poorly. So, in hindsight, what I think I should have done now is, um... Oh, hello, jerkwad. Toss down a meat trap, and then, uh... Maybe even run to cover, maybe don't. But then toss down another one as well. Who knows, once we get that meat trap down and they get distracted and stop fighting us, we could also probably throw down some RDX explosives as well, to kind of, um... Oh, hello. Uh, to, to kind of show them that we mean business and we're not gonna let them mess with our day in any way that they have planned. But still, I, I actually, li like I uh, was saying before, I'm very, very disappointed in myself in regards to the play with those Warwalkers and how that went down and how, how, how much I thought it took to take them down because, um... As I mentioned previously, I believe we have been taking some very good strides in making steps forward in regards to my gameplay, but I think that that may have been a big step back in, in regards to not really knowing what it takes to kill Warwalkers at all, apparently. Like, it uh, apparently it takes a lot, and uh, I've said that like 20 times now, so let's move along and obliterate some brains, because it's one of my favorite things to do in this game. Oh my god. 
Oh, I love these tele glitches. Th these enemies, it's just, it, it, these guys are just way too easy to get in there. I don't know if it's the positioning with that thing, but they are surprisingly easy. Just kind of like walk right on, on over and then they'll walk right on in, I suppose. The gnomes, as always, are going to be like the most annoying ones to get in there. So as long as we don't have to deal with those guys with um, any tele glitch portals, I'll be a okay. Uh... These are the ones that always confuse me. That is not a secret, right? That's just like a tiny gap in a wall. Because those aren't the secret blocks. Um, I'm gonna use one explosive. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this isn't one. And I actually feel better about using explosives to find that than, um, than, uh, am uh, ammo, believe it or not. Because I don't really use RDX explosives for anything except for crafting and, um... Uh, nail gun ammo in particular. Uh, so I, I, I feel okay using a couple of those, seeing as we'll probably get a lot more of them in uh, the future of our time. I'm interested to see what that Tinker achievement is. I, I should have actually pulled that up and looked at that, and I still can. But you know what? Whatever. We're focused on our game. We're gonna keep on moving along. I'll have to go ahead and see what it is once uh, I, uh, the game is complete, or once I finish recording for today, or whatever happens with all of that. I've definitely been taking a little bit more damage than I would have liked to at this point. I did just get a tube, though, and there's a secret. So, um, things are looking a bit up right about here. We need an M chip to be able to, uh, get our nail gun. So, uh, I, at least I believe... Uh, we might as well make, make the nail gun ammo, I suppose. Yeah, um, so we can't get the nail gun quite yet, but of course we've got one of the two components, so it should be, uh, not too far away in our future. So let's actually go ahead and set up our inventory a little bit more. There we go, that'll be pretty good for that. I, 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 I will actually say one more thing going back to that Warwalker engagement. I did also handle my inventory very, very poorly. Like, at one point when I meant to go to, like, the shotgun or something, I think I went one weapon too high. Um... Or that might have been when I was going for the revolver. So, I definitely made my fair share of mistakes in, in that engagement. I hate it when the enemies knife, I mean, hit you first. <clears throat> Sorry about that again. I hate it when enemies knife you first because sometimes it seems to do a weird thing where, like, I'm clicking to, like, knife them and knife them, and I don't know if it's that they do for... Was it Bruce Lee who came up with this move? The... the I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like there was some kind of a uh, fighting move where you're, you, like, throw in your punches so quick that you hit the enemy, um, but be... But you get, uh, like, away from them fast enough that they don't have a chance to hit you while while they're actually in the radius. I feel like that's what they do. They, they go in for, like, a quick jab and, like, jump back. So they get, like, a couple of hit They get, like, two hits on me despite my knife just missing them for some reason. Even though I think at least it's pointed right at them. But who knows? Maybe... Maybe I'm just a complete ding-dong and wrong about all that in general. But anyways, that does not matter at this moment. So let's go ahead and go ahead... Ch chunk on down on two of those canned meats. Uh, do we have enough for a plate already? Hell yeah, let's get started on that. So that means it is six exactly for the plates. I thought it was six for a while, but um, it's always nice to uh, go ahead and some have something confirm your suspicions. So we've got a lot to explore. I, I, I wish I actually didn't take this path. Because it's always a little bit, uh, unfortunate when I, when you look over the map and you're like, Oh, uh, it could've made things go a hell of a lot quicker than they're going to be by actually, like, taking this path, so I wouldn't have to have backtracked as much. But it's also something that really isn't, uh, too much under my control, because I don't know where the teleporter is. I mean, there are those, um, computers that you could use to mark the teleporter on the map for you, but... Eh, I don't really care about them. Honestly, I, I, at this point in my experience, for, for my personal style... Excuse me. For my personal style of gameplay, I don't really think there's much of a purpose to them. So let's actually go all the way back here first. Um, I, I don't think there's much of a, per a point to them in, in my style of gameplay. Granted, knowing where they are means that I could utilize the map to the greatest avail so I wouldn't have to backtrack or anything. But also, um, is that a secret? No, that's not a secret. Also, uh, nice, free shotgun shells. Uh, also, I don't really, um, 
I, I kind of prefer the blindness in in its own way because it, it allows me to explore the map with like a completely open mind, not really knowing what is to be expected wherever I go. Who knows? Maybe I'll run into the teleporter. It'll just have to be a surprise and stuff like that. Hello, you big goon. Let me obliterate you and all of your life uh, fluids and juices and delicious, delicious blood juice. Mm. I've been playing Fallout 3 in my free time as of late, and uh, one of the main missions that I've been meaning to accomplish is the one where you essentially become a vampire or whatever. The one where you meet those, uh, the, the cannibals who only drink blood or something like that. Um, and me saying that was just reminding me about that affair deal. So, uh, let's put the shotgun right under the pistol because the shotgun is freaking glorious. That's everything, I believe? It appears so, so let's go ahead and get to that teleporter. I think we're going to be able to uh, complete stage two as well before ending this video. I hope that I can at least do that. I want to get us caught up where we were, um, were, uh, the time before, uh, this video. Um, because I, I feel bad. I, I genuinely feel bad for, for getting killed by those Warwalkers, both in regards to my skill, like I've said 20 times now, and kind of being thrown back to the beginning of the game. I feel like I should be at the point where we're making it to at least four floor on every single run. But you know, oh, no, oh that's the one for the death pudding, uh... Uh, Matador. Uh, that's the one for killing, like, a hundred people with teleglitches, I think. Making a hundred brains go, brains go kaplooey. But, um... Uh, but of course, uh, g going back to what I was saying about how I feel like I, I expect at this point for myself to be capable of getting to fourth floor in every run, that's part of what is actually so cool about this game, in my opinion. That it is, it's like games like Spelunky and the Binding of, well, for me, not as much the Binding of Isaac, but sometimes, I suppose. It's it's uh, like those games where, uh, the, the, man, so many enemies. Can you guys just blow up? Thank you. We actually got a ton of them with that. I really wish we had a teleglitch right here. I hate this. Ah, that did absolutely, well, just about nothing. Um, let's try one more explosive first. Oh, that's a good one. That was a good one. That felt good. But yeah, it, it, this game is very much so similar to games like uh, Spelunky and the Binding of Isaac, where, um... Uh, sometimes you can die on the early floors. No, it, it doesn't matter how many times you've gotten to hell and Spelunky and defeated King Yama. Sometimes you, you could be a little bit off your game and take get taken down on floor 1-2 or even 1-1 one, one and stuff like that. And, and that's part of what makes those games so cool and so exciting that you never really know what they're going to throw at you. And um, they, they always got to keep you on your feet and all that. So, uh, we are... I, I wish we had one more med kit, but we are pretty freaking packed in regards to med kits right now. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and use a canned meat since we actually are at, um... Oh, shoot, that means I have to bring it up a little. Since we are actually, um... Or were actually at 90 health, it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and use one of those things. Another tube! Hell yeah, there's nothing that we need that for. Oh, we can make the ALG... Uh, I mean the AGL3... Not gonna bother with that. In all honesty, I'm sure the AGL3 is really, really power powerful. Maybe even overpowered in some regards. But I barely use the AGL1. So I think it's a kind of a circumstance where if I use that thing, it probably won't happen anytime soon. Yes! Oh, yeah. That, that wasn't very impressive or anything, but... The satisfaction of getting one of those big hulky guys into a teleglitch is very, very nice because I hate those guys so much. And there's actually absolutely no benefits down here anyway, so uh, makes me extra happy that we didn't waste ammunition on those jerkwads because we will have at least taken like an explos- uh, an RTX or um... Uh, in the least, pro uh, like, probably, like, ten rounds of, uh, ammunition, uh, from our pistol to be able to take that big guy down. So, I'm very happy, uh, with, uh, how that went down, of course, so, 
Um, let's go ahead and explore the areas over here before backtracking. I'm not gonna lie, if I was to levy a guess- Oh no. Oh no, it's one of these guys! Stop throwing manure in my face! You ugly, ugly man! He's not ugly in his face, he's ugly in his heart, and I hate him for it. Ah! I, I totally could have juked that hit, but I just played pretty poorly. You know what? We're shooting him. No! You've hit me enough, you beast! Beast of beasts. We took 20 damage on that one guy! Ugh, I hate that unit so much. Honestly, actually, he might be my least favorite. L looking back on everything, I hate those gnomes. Gnome Chomsky trying to ruin our day all day and all night. But uh, everything considered, they are not nearly as bad as a guy who takes 15 freaking shots and uh, can throw manure in your face. I mean, no nobody likes that. So, anything over here for us? I hope to find a... Uh, uh, great, taking like 20 hits. Uh, do we guide this guy to the tele glitch? I don't know. Part of me says no. But you know what? Let's do it. It's it's the smart way to play, and I, I feel like... I, today... Today, I don't feel like a smooth, fast play. There actually looks like there was a tele glitch below us, but we're already heading up here, so that's okay. I don't feel like a smooth, fast play. I feel like smart play. So we're just gonna go ahead and plop that guy into another dimension. Make his brain into mush. Eat it for breakfast tomorrow morning. Uh, of course, we actually will need to find whatever dimension it has been teleported to before being capable of eating it, so who knows, maybe we'll jump in there and destroy our brain ourselves later uh, today, which wouldn't be the smartest thing to do in the world, but you know what? We're an adventurer, and adventurers have got to explore and discover new and exciting places, regardless of what it may, um... Regardless in how it may affect their health and all that. I mean, Indiana Jones, when he goes out in adventures, he's not thinking about the danger. He's not thinking about what might happen to him. He's not thinking about the death and doom and gloom that may result in his uh, expeditions. He's just thinking about the pride and the adventure and the glory. That's all he cares about, and that's all we care about as well. And, of course, the, the grand old fact that, um... Really, it belongs in a museum, and everything belongs in a museum, so, uh, we, we need to, I don't know, may maybe we're the ones who belong in a museum in this circumstance, and, uh, we're trying to get back to Earth, not to rescue our lives, but to go ahead and be like that, uh, that baseball or Blurns ball player in, uh, Futurama, and just s stand in, the, in a museum for the rest of our lives for people to admire ourselves and, and all of our glory, because, you know, we really don't got anything else to live for. We're just a random, poor s survivor. I mean, really, th this guy, by the end of everything, we found a secret up there. Also took 10 damage, but we found a secret. Um... Uh, but really, that that guy, you know what, here, th these guys are probably what the AGL is super good against, so let's, let's use it on them. It will take, like, three shots, oh my lord, it will take, like, three shots as long as we actually hit him, um, but it'll be three shots and I'll be worth it. So I gotta remember, he's gonna get up, yeah, because no one stays down when they're killed with an AGL for whatever reason. Hit him! Oh my god. Sometimes, this is why I hate this weapon. I am awful with it. I never hit enemies. I think three times is, no! Oh my God, it, please just, I'm using up so many explosive rounds. Are you dead now? Good. <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe we should even just use it for this, uh, but it takes multiple shots. One, one shot doesn't destroy the wall, so Honestly, I actually think the pistol is the best uh, weapon to use for uh, accessing these secret rooms and all that. Looks like we got another meat trap, right? Uh, no, that was a nail bomb. Okay, I do want to utilize nail bombs more than I have in the past. Because, you know, I, I could really use some on, on my lips and all that. Because that's what nail bomb is, right? It's a lipstick. I'm trying to remember if it's fingernail polish or lipstick. I, I don't remember, whatever. I, I've never used it myself, I could say that, so I guess I'm excuse, excused a little bit from that, but I've, ma I've also made that nail bomb reference like 200 times in my Let's Play here, so probably one to uh, leave to the dogs and forget about for, for uh, days of future past or something like that. 
how many shotgun rounds do we have? We've got 50 in total. Explosives are, of course, running low, but we do still have 21. And like I said, I never used that weapon. How, uh, yeah, I figured we wouldn't have too much machine gun ammunition. I thought this was the way to go. Um, hardware! Oh, shoot, and the gnome. Deal with the gnome first, then we could use the hard hardware to, uh, our greatest avail. We can make an auto pistol, but we're definitely going to go for the nail gun, without a doubt. Um, excuse me. Here, actually, you know what? Let let's test our ammunition here right now. If we craft a weapon, do we keep that 15 bullets? I'm pretty sure we do, so we won't have to worry about dropping the weapon anymore and then re-picking it up so the clip will be emptied. But this will be a good way to remember we're at 78 uh, outside of our main clip right now. If it's higher than 78, then we have our answer. So there's nail gun. Of course, we'll need a second pistol before we can worry about any of that. Um, you know what? Let's upgrade to the nail gun too right off the bat. Um, might not be the best choice, but I, I, you know, that, that means we won't have to worry about, um, using any more tubes for that weapon in the future. Nice, now we're at 60 ammunition for, um, for our shotgun. I, I believe so. I believe we had 50 in total because there's, uh, uh, 40 shells outside of our main, uh, clip or whatever. A shotgun that holds, uh, 10 shells, uh, that's actually pretty impressive, but actually, nowadays, not really. Resident Evil 4, if, if we're talking about games that, uh, have shotguns that hold ammunition. Resident Evil 4 had a shotgun that holds, held 100 shells at once, if I remember correctly, so... <laughs> that, probably not the most impressive thing in the world, or at least not quite as impressive as I, as I thought it was. And I'm pretty sure that there are shotguns in existence that can hold more than, uh, 10 uh, shots in it at once or, or something like or 10 shells I should say come at me bros let me knife you out of existence make you uh like nutter butter then I'm going to slide down my pretty little throat oh, oh. um ah oh I didn't see that gnome he only hit us once though so that's actually not that bad I thought I thought he was going to uh clobber us into like hell on earth or something like that even though we're not on earth and uh we very much so are probably more on hell but you know what who, who cares you know what i don't need to move those we'll just leave the med kits that bar down um well actually no it does go directly to the bottom i forgot yeah so we totally don't need um oh another secret uh we totally don't need um to uh close off that space in the middle that's pretty nice we are taking more damage than I would like to, but you know what? We're just gonna deal with it. We got a uh, we got rocket launcher. That's pretty freaking awesome. I freaking I love this thing. I need to use it more. That, honestly, that's what I should really do. I did not have those when I attacked the Warwalkers, and maybe I should actually consider holding on to it for a while because I th that thing has got to be super powerful for the late game. But part of me. Would like to test if that is actually a one-hit weapon on the Warwalkers. We'll have to see. Who knows? All of this, of course, is uh, stuff to occur in our future. But for now, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all next time.